And on that election in Florence, we're talking to voters about the turbulent few months without a full compliment after six of the seven council members resigned. Yeah, this all followed an investigation into the former city manager for sexual harassment allegations. Our Natalie Chuck in Florence for us tonight asking voters why this election was so important. Rob and Diane, it was inside of this gymnasium behind me where hundreds of voters in Florence showed up to cast their votes for new city council members, many of them telling me they are ready to get this city back on track after months of disarray. Hello. Hi. A good old fashioned election by hand. What's your last name? One by one, voters in Florence, Colorado, dropping ballots into boxes. Take that over to the Ward 1 table and they're going to give you a ballot. But this special election means more to the community here than most. Don't let history repeat itself is what I would say. Florence will basically have a completely new city council after six council members resigned back in March, leaving only the mayor on the board. The main thing is picking up business that's been setting and waiting. It's kind of been cattywampus lately and it's time to get it straightened out. The mass resignation came after the former city manager was fired amid allegations of sexual harassment from multiple women who worked at the city with him, including stalking, sexual contact without consent, and providing alcohol to a minor. It's been baptism by fire. It's been pretty interesting. Interim city clerk Cortland Huppy hopes this by hand election process gives the people in Florence faith during an already turbulent time for the city. I feel more comfortable, you know, having coordinated with this election that we are counting it by hand because there's a lot of processes that make sure that every number is the same every time you count it. And the people of Florence. I kind of think the downtown folks were a little nervous about leadership. All right, They're all good people down there. Optimistic. All good people going to make up this city council. Well, we are well on our way to recovery. About the future. Now, the interim city clerk tells me there are about 3,200 registered voters who were eligible to vote in this election, but realistically, she says she hopes to get about 500 ballots back. The state has been helping the city of Florence since it has been without a city council, but I'm told that the transition should be pretty simple because the city attorney here has been the one spearheading most of the decisions for the time being. Reporting from Florence, Natalie Chuck, News 5.